Hey guys, my name's Jim. This is Dash, this is Dot, and together we make Dash and Dot and Jim. We're going to be using this and checking it out, seeing if it's fun, how to use it, etc, etc. Cool stuff, cool stuff. See you in a second. The Dash and Dot come in this cool box with some sweet drawings on it. Um, they fit nicely in there and you can store it back into the box, so no problem there. What we have inside is the Dash robot. He moves around and stuff. We we can program it. Uh, we got the dot guy. He's he's just the ball with an eye. He's got some sensors on it. He can talk and has some LEDs. Uh, we also have stickers, which are nice, I guess. Um, fun. And then we have Lego pieces. These are cool. You can connect these to the sides of the bot and then connect Legos. And then we also have this uh, charger. So it's just a USB. Uh, pretty simple. So the dash has a few things on it. It's got a couple of distance sensors right here in black on the front and it also has one in the back so you can see things behind it. And then it has IR sensor, it's the pupil of its eye. Um, it has a bunch of LEDs all over it like here and around the eye and then maybe in the back these light up. These three wheels, these two are motorized so it can turn left and right. And then this one is just a swivel wheel in the back. Uh, they're all rubber and they work really well on carpet or hard floor. Then we have some buttons at the top. Um, these are programmable, you can do different things with them. And then as a speaker right back here. So we also have the dot here. Um, this guy doesn't move around, he just kind of stands there. He's got a little stand here that you can connect. You can also take it off and you can roll it around. So that's kind of cool. So it's really tempting to throw, but um, I wouldn't suggest that. I'm not sure if you want to be throwing um, your electronics around, um, but it's somewhat durable. I mean, I can put it on the ground and not be upset about it. Um, it's got the IR sensors, distance sensors, then some buttons at the top, just like the dash, and then the speaker down here. Using Wonder Workshop's app Blockly on my iPad, I was able to design a little program for Dash uh, where he would go forward and if something happened to be in front of him he would turn around and continue moving. It takes him a little bit of time to see the wall so usually he'll just run into it just like that yeah mm-hmm. One great thing I noticed about the dash is the design of its uh, like its body. It has these rounded spheres at its base so anytime it hits a wall it can turn left or right even though you know you'd think it might get jammed in the corner it can usually find its way out because of this design along with uh, about four or five different apps you can use with the dash and dot you can also get some accessories to go along with it like a catapult or even a xylophone to make some music there's also a third party app called tickle that you can use Tickle had a more robust collection of programming tools, but I thought both worked pretty well. And I would suggest that you try both of them out and see which one you like most. Real quick, I'd like to just go over some pros and cons. So the Dash and Dot is durable. It has some good apps. It's well designed and stable. It's fun and quirky. It also has what I like to call edutainment. It's educational and pretty fun. As for the cons, it has pretty bad battery life. It has a little bit of a delay and lag. It's a little bit heavy. Sometimes it can actually be a bit too quirky and it can roll around while it's on and just fall off a table. And finally, the occasional updates do get a little bit annoying. With all of the educational products out there, to me this is a good option and can help introduce kids to the fundamentals of programming and computer science. We've prepared lessons with Dash and Dot in our robotics course, and students have responded well. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any comments or remarks, you can leave them below the video, and I will get back to you. Thanks a ton. I will see you around.